annual membership. The $4 million facility next to Union Station should be complete by next spring. A new landmark on the shores of the Potomac is on its way to becoming a reality. The Arlington Board of Supervisors paving the way for a $100 million sports complex to be built in the next two years. But the county still has some hurdles to clear. News Channel 8's Kelly Cresswell joins us live from the newsroom with details on this. Hi, Kelly. Well, Bruce, it won't be the largest of Arlington's 200 parks, but it will be the most expensive because it will include a 200,000 square foot aquatic and sports center. It's one of the most visible spots in Arlington, right at the foot of the 14th Street Bridge. As it's long overdue, I think, it would just basically improve the lifestyle for everyone that lives in this area. When the 30-acre complex is completed, it will have four full-size athletic fields, an aquatic center, gymnasiums, and a parking garage, even an overlook to view the Pentagon. I think the more good, uh, well-maintained uh, public facilities there are for the people uh, is it's good, uh, good use of the land, and uh, I, I, make, I make a lot of use of it. So, Even though the land use deals for the complex are finalized, the county is short $50 million. When voters approved the project in 2004, the county allocated $50 million. But four years of working out the complicated land deals have seen the construction costs jump another $50 million. Arlington County Vice Chair Barbara Favola says the county does have strategies to find the extra money. One way is by taking more tax benefit from developers who would be allowed to build more in other parts of Arlington, since only ball fields and athletic facilities will be built here. And the second strategy is we're really looking for private sector partners who, you know, would like to help us with an upfront investment and perhaps share with us some naming opportunities or uh, some programmatic opportunities that this new facility will offer. Despite the lack of funds, the county sees this project as a top priority. We're running out of space. Arlington County is a very dense urban community. Uh, and this is one of our last best chances to, uh, to bring in a significant park to Arlington. Favola says she expects Arlington will have to shoulder much of the additional cost. They expect to break ground earlier this, either this winter or the start of next year, and it will take about two years to complete. Have they looked ahead to fee structure and how much this will cost the public to actually use? Well, Bruce, the county won't charge the public for open space like the picnic areas in the Esplanade, but since the construction of the facility won't start for a while, they're not sure about any fees yet. But they might look into pricing options for the use of the aquatic center and maybe some membership options. And the county does have policies in place that if teams want to reserve the soccer fields, there is a fee, and that will probably apply to these new fields as well. All right, something to look forward to in Arlington. Kelly, thanks very much. Still ahead, a local soldier injured in combat 